Dan Reichert, look at this spaceship. That's definitely a spaceship. Yeah. It's majestic, isn't it? It's... It looks kind of like a, like a hawk. It's got like a yellow beak up front. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. That's cool. Yeah, I could see that. It's from Terra Crusta. Oh. What, what is that, Jeff? It's one of the games in the arcade archives. See, as a result of my frequent buyership of the games in the arcade archives franchise, I seem to get access to free themes from oh, time nice. to time. With nice sound effects. I really like that a lot. Yeah, it's not at all. It's not chaotic. Ah. I, I'm a fan. Yeah, no, they're 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 real good. Uh, so we've got five games lined up here uh, since the last time we looked at these games. And a funny thing is starting to happen where some of these games are coming out at the same time in the U.S. Oh, really? But I've been staying true to the Japanese versions. I, I never seem um, to see them on the Double PS Dragon Store. Two specifically uh, oh, is out yeah. in the U.S. now. Twin B I think is as well. But, but is so that Double, Bubble Bobble? That is Bubble Bobble. Is Bubble Bobble available well, in the U.S.? I don't. Uh, it might be. I don't actually know. I like Bubble Bobble a yeah. lot. Well, let's start at the back of the list here and work our way forward. These are not necessarily in chronological order of release, but okay. Uh, we're gonna start with this one, which is called Kid No Hore Hore Daisakusen. I think. All right. I might have that wrong. Is that what it says on the? Well, I guess it might not have a U.S. page. Did this come to the U.S. No. in any form? Uh, so, ever? so no. But it well. A version of it sort of did. This game uh, came to the Famicom uh, with some changes that made it a little bit more of a puzzle game under the name Booby Kids. <laughs> All right. Did you play on Booby Kids? No, no, I did not. Uh, but but then uh, you know then then that game uh, I think got released and ported around a little bit to some other computers and stuff like that. Uh, it's you know like like Booby Traps. Okay. You know, not oh, I, I see. Okay. Not booby boobs. Gotcha. Or, or, like spy versus spy. Maybe, yeah. Tra so Booby traps. So, yeah, see, you dug a hole. Uh, the, cop, okay. the cop went in the hole. The cop is dead that, now. That's very illegal. Um, that's not really a, a prank. That's a really we're murdering up a, prank. a yeah, police so, officer. Um, so we're going to give this a go. I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I've tried this once and, and did not do well at it. I'm trying to figure out exactly how you play it, really. But I'm digging the music, though. See, I, I remember a lot of this stuff back during uh, like the NES era is that I would, I would rent a game that just had like a cool cover, like the, the title art to this looked pretty cool. Uh -huh. And then it would load up to something like this and it was pretty unclear what I was supposed to do. That happened way more back in the NES Oh yeah, days, well I mean, I especially if you were renting games and, and it wasn't necessarily, oh see, so I have to dig the hole, get them in the hole, and then fill in the hole, which is like a, on it. so it's like a top down uh, Hayanko alien. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why this is reminding me of the uh, NES Gremlins 2, the new batch. It was kind of this perspective and the size of characters and stuff, I remember. Die, 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 pig, die. <laughs> Jeez. Are those mobsters and police? Whose side are you on here? I'm on my own side. Oh my yeah, God. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like there's, there's cops and robbers. They all must pay the piper. Jeez. Tell if you're a vigilante or... Oops. Oh, or, no, I fell in my own oh. hole. Is that good, though? Am I hiding? Nope. Your booby traps were your own undoing. <laughs> yeah. Live by the shovel, die by the <laughs> shovel. That's that's my motto. Oh, let's see if we can get this <laughs> fucking gun. Holy shit. A flamethrower? Holy shit. All right. This is effective. <laughs> wow. Got kind of a wide... Uh... What's the word for that? A wide uh, cone of fire. Cone of fire, sure. Yeah. I just beat Super Hot last night, and that shotgun has that too. You shoot it. And just, yeah. You just have to kind of generally aim in that direction. And the guy you're it'll, dead. Yeah, it'll probably be okay. Yeah, I like that a lot. I seem to still have the gun. I was figured. I figured that like I would get like three shots with the gun, and that'd be that. But we're still. It looks like the cops just have handcuffs. Oh, you have a yo-yo now. Yeah, way better than this gun, as it turns out. Do cops in Japan have guns? I don't think so. Okay. They just have yo-yos, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're just carrying handcuffs. Mobsters don't seem to have anything. I don't know what I need to do to finish this level. There's like a crazy bug thing going around. Maybe you have to kill the bug, or maybe you have to get all the treasure chests. Maybe. There's a weird slime thing. Oh no, the, the yo-yo's blinking. Oh shit. Uh. Okay, it looks like it's counting the number of treasure chests that I'm collecting. Is that counting so, down? So maybe, yeah, we'll see if that's counting down or up. 
Oh, jeez. Uh, That's yeah, going down. It's going down. Get four more. C1. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. There's a lot. I mean, I spent a lot of time killing them, which probably means that they spawn more. You could try a stealth approach. Yeah. It looks like, like at some point dinosaurs and robots enter the equation mm -hmm. based on that transition. Yeah. <coughs> okay, let's uh, let's try to focus here. 12 chests. All right. Maybe you get more police attention as you keep murdering all of their coworkers. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Yeah, that seems like something that like <laughs> like like you're right, that would be a good way to to like handle this, but like a GTA wanted star thing. Yeah. Like, hey, you shut down our helicopter, we're bringing in the tanks. This game seems like a weird like now that I'm realizing you need to get the treasure chest, this game seems like a weird slow version of Rally X. Okay. Can you open that door? It's got the arrow. I don't arrow think there. so. I, it's got the arrow, but I, I. Well, maybe if I hit. Maybe there's a second button. And maybe. so that will propel you. Oh, you can pick where that propels yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay, you can open that, but then you. Gotcha. So it looks. I wonder if I if I yeah. opened it into his. Fa oh fuck! I thought I still had the yo-yo. <laughs> All right, but we only need three treasure chests. We've got this. Is that and save? Oh well, yeah, yeah, you have lives. Okay. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Oh, jeez. It's nice of you to put a little cross in there after yeah. you bury them. Okay, bounce right. Oh, jeez. Where the hell are they? Up, I think. What are the question marks? Is that like the gun power-ups uh, yeah, and stuff? Yeah, it's power-ups and stuff. So, okay, it'd be nice one. to have one of those, but I there's too much... It's. The block is hot. Ah! You okay. got it, you got it. Okay. Okay, there's one. Bounce, oh, over his head. Yes! Let's get this P get and that. see what's up. All right. Is that's that a, a super shovel? Super shovel. Oh, okay. Awesome. Is it left and up? I'm guessing it's left and up, because I think that's the only spot I haven't really been. <coughs> yep, yeah. yep, there it is. You got it. Oh. Did you bring the key to the door? I gotta find where the door is. It's, it's uh, lower right. Okay. Don't blow it here. You have no lives left. Oh, no, oh, that, doesn't, that doesn't work like that. Oh. I, got, I got mappy. The doors work like mappy. <laughs> we didn't make it out. Damn it. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> the fucking quarter in this stupid thing. Can you say the full title of the game again? Kid no Hore Hore Daisakusen. Okay. Nice. Booby kids. Booby kids, yeah. Uh, do you have to hit a button to activate the doors or just yeah. push against them? Yeah, it seems like a, there's, there, it's a two button game from the looks of it. Okay. A dedicated door button, perhaps. Or maybe I'm just happening to be hitting the button. Oh. Yes. This seems to be going well. I wonder if that is a timed power up or a you have like 10 shots type thing. Uh, yeah, I, don't I don't see know. any indicator one way or another. We're killing a lot of people here. Uh, I have to get the treasure. Yes. No one will stand in my way. Right. I'm the Nathan Drake of my time. Yes. <laughs> Super shovel. Yeah. If you want it at this point. It seems like my gun, I'm pretty good at murdering. Yeah. Okay, there's one of them. Oh, I wonder if that would replace the gun. Or probably, right? Yeah. Is, is it yeah. the same button for shoveling and shooting? Yeah. Look at the oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, you're on a roll here. Yeah. Uh, oh, damn it. I can't dig where the crosses are. Okay. It won't let me. That makes so, sense. So. Yeah, you can't double bury people. Right. None, none of these right. people are married. They didn't get the. Okay. 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 We're gonna we're getting out of here. I think you got it. Yep. Yay! Nice. See if the next one looks the exact same, or you get robots. Special bonus for the people I've killed. <laughs> okay, this looks totally different. Oh boy, are those teleporters? Oh god. Yeah, weird tremors worms. Maybe they're just snakes. 
got flashy dart boards. Okay, dinosaurs. Oh. All right, you are in dinosaur times. There are cavemen and dinosaurs. I was right. This is teleporting. Yeah. You know, caveman times. Yeah. The whip. No, you're still getting like space guns and stuff. Yeah. All right, cool. Making a statement, no matter what time you live in, treasure appeals to everyone. Yeah, it's Dinosaurs, true. cops, cavemen, uh -huh. bugs, Kid Noka Noka Morasan. Yeah, that's his official name. I got something that froze everybody. Okay. Can you place a booby right in front of the dinosaur now? Oh, you can walk right through him, okay. I got speed shoes. I wonder if those are permanent. And now I've got hot shovel also. Oh man. Okay, That's fine. I'll teleport here. Come out here. Let's move. All right. Get this one. Get this one. There's one more treasure. There it is. There it is. Uh, 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 That's fine. Okay, That's fine. Yeah, yeah. You'll just come out there. You got it. Get the key. There's the key. Bury that dinosaur. Goodbye, dinosaur. Man, fuck. Busy area. Are those cavemen coming back to life? Because the graves started sparkling, and then they two cavemen showed up. Oh, ah! God! It's all right. You still got one life left. All right. Dynamite? I do. Yeah, I think. It's a countdown. There's a timer. I don't know what, how you activate your dynamite. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, there it is. Oh. Is it just proximity just fucking bomber man now. Yeah. All right. It's weird. You have to walk over the... Ah! ah! Damn it. Well, I can put my name in at least. Yeah. Get that trophy. <sighs> no, well, so the the trophies in a lot of these games have changed uh, in terms of uh, like the the later releases in arcade archives have changed the way they handle trophies. So, Aww. see, they have it as kids, hore hore, uh, Daisakusen, but it seems like that's. I mean, that's. <laughs> so yeah, they're, they're all based on score now. It's not like, hey, look at the menu. Ah, I prefer classic hamster. Yeah. So I now I actually have to like be decent at the game and get uh -huh. hundred thousand points. That's no fun. Um. I, yeah, right. All right. Yes. Let's move on. God, the music. Bubble Bobble. Um, you seems like you have a love for Bubble Bobble. I love Bubble Bobble. Me and my cousin used to play this all the time on NES. I've only played the NES version. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, I'm sure at some point I went to some go kart track that had an arcade yeah, cabinet yeah. for it, but I mean, definitely NES is what I remember. I love the music in this game. So if I remember right, this game, if you're not playing it two-player, you can't finish it. It's like this thing where you don't get the real ending unless oh, you're really? playing two-player. Weird. I remember there were just like, I think there were over 100 levels. Yeah, well, I think one. there are exactly 100. Okay. Um, and like you don't get to see, or maybe it's like you don't get to see level 101 unless you're playing two-player or something it, like that. Yeah. God, I just remember some of these enemies just scaring the shit out of me, like those whales that get mad and come after you. I love doing the bouncy thing when you're kind of hopping on your own bubbles. Mm -hmm. Oh, this music. The music is really great. I don't know that I like this game. Really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's just kind of like the... There's an imprecision to popping the bubbles and, and some of that stuff that just, like, is frustrating. There was just something tremendously satisfying to me about popping those bubbles. Like... I, I see what you mean about the imprecision, but it just felt good when you're trapping these things and, mm -hmm. and bursting them. Hey, again, though, it, this is one of those things I chalk up to like me being like five or six when I played the, this game a lot. So ah, I fucked that up. The bar was low. Oh man, the E. The E is there. Oh, and drink. The martini. Is that a martini? Yeah. Okay. What was the thing we had with Dave Lang at the mariachi place? That's a margarita, margarita. right? Margarita. Okay, I always get that confused. Oh god. Because it seems like sometimes you can even pop the bubbles by walking into them from the side. Right. If you, if you push hard up uh, up against them, like, long enough, it will eventually... Oh, damn it. 
And then there's the crazy bubbles you get later that make you do the Oh, the, the, the they're full, full of water? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, that'll be the level after this one, I think. Oh. So we're ghost whales. French fries. Oh, man, those french fries are probably worth some points, They huh? look pretty good. Hey, what if you took... Oh, man. Oh. It had a, a golden M. No, no, golden W on uh, that fries. So it's from Wario's yes. specific? Yes. I would play Wario's Fast Food Tycoon. Like, like a WarioWare, but it's all fast food all focused. Food. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. There'd just be a lot of garlic. Ugh. All right, oh, here we go. This, this is the first level with the... With the water bubbles. So if we wait a little bit here, see if mm. we can... Oh, well, I killed everybody, but... Yes! That's just, that's just good times right there. Yeah. Let's do it again. Got him. I actually want to play Snow Brothers. Yeah. Nick and Tom. Yeah. Snow Bros. That's fun. Instead of putting them in don't, bubbles... Don't you put fuck them... with Prince Nick and Tom. <laughs> Instead of bubbles, you put them in a big-ass snowball, push uh -huh. down the hill, kills all their friends. I, I've always liked the just little bite-sized level, like single screen, ah. like this type of thing. Yeah. We can beat a level in, you know, 30 seconds. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, you see, it's, it's yeah. pretty crazy. Yeah. Uh, but you're you're two humans that have been turned into dinosaurs, and you're Bub and Bob. Yeah. And your human girlfriends have been trapped away, so <laughs> you know how it goes. Yeah. Uh, that's that's Bubble Bobble. That definitely was Bubble Bobble. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for like a heartbreaking, like a heart wrenching, uh. real <laughs> video game. This is there's fucking pathos, the drama here. This is. <laughs> You remember Double Dragon 1? Yes. Where the dude with the gun comes and kidnaps the girl. I do remember that. And then you go and you rescue you rescue her? Yes. You rescue Marion? I do remember that. Opening of this game is the fucking rawest shit ever committed to any medium ever. <laughs> the 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 start of this sequel of Double Dragon 2, The <laughs> Revenge is the fucking realest shit. <laughs> Is, is it this one or the first one where you're working on your, on your car? Or yeah, whatever? that's okay. the first one. All right, this yeah. one you've you've ramped up a little bit to a, a helicopter. Yeah, the first one garage. is just she gets socked in the stomach. Yeah, and they yeah they, her they, the they hit her in the stomach, and... throw her over her shoulder, carry her away. Yeah, you save her. Okay, there she is. Oh God! And then what the fuck, Jesus man? Christ. She's just fucking dead. <laughs> that's the clap back. <laughs> Machine Gun Willie wants his motherfucking cornerback, and and your fucking gunship in the garage isn't gonna do you shit. You gotta fucking punch and kick these people to death. And all these Dean Ambrose has come cartwheeling yeah. in. <laughs> Holy shit! The fucking was that how was the NES version? No. Okay, how did that? Because I don't I, remember I don't, that. I, I don't think it was. I don't know. I can't I do, tell you. I feel like I would remember that. Oh, get the whip. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, so this game's based on directional attacks, where there's yeah. a left attack and a right attack, uh, which I don't think... The original Double Dragon was not that, so th this is... Can you throw that? No. Okay. So it's just hit until you don't have that anymore. Yeah. This is also good music. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. <coughs> now, what is it for you? Like, how would you describe what a game like this does that makes you like it a lot, but, you know, uh, other ones of the same genre, like Ninja Turtles or the Simpsons arcade game? Like, because I, uh, I recognize that this is a better game for sure. Yeah. But well, I, I'm trying to think of how think to it's, vocalize it. You know, it, it's, it's like a number of moves. Uh, there's a, you know, there's a... It's it's number of moves in a lot of cases. Like yeah. a, a lot of those Konami games were were pretty simple. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, which is, I mean, whatever. They're great games of that ilk. But also, like I, I would also say that like even Double Dragon at this point, you know, you, you finish it and that's that. Yeah, yeah. I find that with most games in this genre. Like I remember when the, that six player X Men came to X B L A. Yeah. And it's like, oh fuck yeah, this game was awesome. Uh, you, and you sit, you play it and yeah, beat you, it you beat it once and you're like, okay. Yeah. It's like all right, yeah. All right. It seems like it does almost take something away or, or show how simple the game really is when you don't have to pay quarters. Right. You yeah. know? 
Yeah, I mean, a lot of these games were made to, you know, be difficult and you can continue specifically to so that they can get more money out of you. And yeah, when you remove that, a knife. it's just pretty simple and straightforward. I've always preferred games of this genre where you see their names when you attack them. You're a, you're a final fight kind of guy. I mean, I love, I love them all, but yeah, it, some of them had funny names. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we wouldn't have known that the dude's name was a Bobo if not for outside of game factors. You right, know? right. <laughs> I threw a knife into Dean Ambrose's face <laughs> and then Dean Ambrose showed up and threw a fucking <laughs> axe at me. Yeah. And then he did Ryu's like forward and fierce punch move. He's a lunatic fringe, Jeff. Yeah. It actually even sounds kind of like a bah. <laughs> And I've got this cool jump kick. Is that that doesn't take your health? If, if no, it connects, no, no. Does it's, it? it's not a spinning. It's not like a super move sort right. of thing. <laughs> and then Fat Demolition shows up. <laughs> you mean current demolition? Look, current indie show demolition. Look, show I up. am not gonna <laughs> fucking sit here while you talk shit about Axe or Smash. Even Crush is no longer with us. I preferred Repo Man. Well, look, I mean, yeah, but... <laughs> All right. Is that as devastating as it was in the first one? It kind of, yeah. Yeah, it seems to be working all right for you. Jesus Christ! Christ. <laughs> I mean, they did murder your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, and I you fucking my, my acid punches and kicks, apparently. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Kenny Omega. <laughs> the cleaner's here. <laughs> All right, all right. Oh, can you throw that barrel? I don't think the, that barrel is throwable. Looks like that a looks a like a background thing, thing yeah. by the Scooby-Doo law of items you can interact yeah. with. <laughs> that looks too faded into the background. Yeah. Shit. That lady's got grenades. And she killed herself. And she killed it? herself. <laughs> she dove on the grenade to save me. She had a second thoughts. It's like, I love you, Billy. You've been through a lot. <laughs> I mean, he has. I remember being blown away the first time I played Medal of Honor and a guy threw, uh, he took off a helmet and hopped on a grenade. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. amazing. It's so real. Yeah. Well, they brought on military advisors from Saving Private Ryan. I like how the, the hand has a ring on it. A weird, unnecessary detail. Hmm. You're thinking of the hands of your dead girlfriend. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Kind of looks like casual Akuma. <laughs> All right, this guy's not very good at this job down there. Oh boy. A little bit of that authentic slowdown. <laughs> I prefer that, even when games like this give you the option to get rid of it. Like Mega Man 9 and 10 is like, oh, do you want to get rid of the little flicker and the slowdown? It's like, no, I want this to be like Mega Man. That guy is frozen. He's just like, I'm standing there, just like, he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> you play much Renegade? Yeah. Or did we do that on one of these, even? Yes, yeah. Okay, Ren Renegade that's right. Renegade has been part of this. Uh, yeah, so same, same people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no. Renegade was a game that I bought for the NES and returned. Oh, Jesus. Is that Fucking leisure suit Duke Nukem is here. <laughs> <coughs> Are they going for a Terminator thing? His head looks like Arnold and he's got glowing red eyes, but then everything else does not scream Those are just, sungla those are just Arnold. sunglasses. 
They don't, sunglasses don't have red dots. I mean, there's, there's a bit of glare. Ah, no? This feels kind of Terminator-y to me. At least the head. Yeah, you're probably, you're probably right. This is an effective fight. Early, early P-Jack. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jeez. Oh, God. Just kick him the nuts over and over. Yeah. Uh-oh, that backfired. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I'm putting oh. Entering, entering my name. Didn't even let me fall off. <laughs> what is that voice sample? I don't know. Oh, God, he's doing it again. This is, that's, this is the worst. Doesn't seem to be any penalty to getting on the conveyor. There's not like a jigsaw at the end that's going to cut you in half. I think you're supposed to be, eventually fall off because that's a, you know, dark pit. I made very clear. Drop kick. Why is it called a drop kick if you have to jump up to do it? You're not dropping. You're well, jumping. If you think about kick. like there, are, there are definitely drop kicks where you drop something and kick it on its way down. Like kicking, yeah, a, like, like a, a like, like punting a football. Yeah. Yeah, right. but I'm thinking like the, the yeah, pro wrestling, like the pro drop wrestling kick. drop kick. You're right. That doesn't make any sense. Oh. Like you're dropping at the end of it, I guess, but. But you're jumping. To, yeah. You're jumping and then dropping. That's true. <laughs> I mean, I'm impressed with his cartwheel skills. Like, don't you know? I don't know how effective it is in the in this particular fight, but. Have you ever successfully done a, a uh, cartwheel? Fuck no. Yeah, I've tried a couple times. Can't do it. Like in somersault. Can't cartwheel. Oh sure, yeah. When was the last time you did a somersault? Uh, not that long ago, actually. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did you do a somersault? Well, you know, look, sometimes <laughs> you go on business trips and oh. you find yourself in a hotel room where it's like the bed is like kind of nice. Okay, yes, yes. And you're like, you know what? I'm going to fucking just jump on this bed and okay. do a fucking sick somersault. All right. That's fair. Uh, but my go-to, uh, if I go to a hotel room and there's two beds, is I like to jump off one and do a swanton bomb onto the other. Okay, yeah, That's sure. my move. Yeah. But then I did it once in St. Louis, uh -huh. and I bounced off the other one and went headfirst into a window, and it really hurt. Yeah. I think I was bleeding, actually. Yeah, that, did the window break? Or uh, no, just, no, no. Okay, good. No. I just bonked my head real bad. Window harder than your head, okay. It was right before I went to Raw in 2000, actually. The, you know, they put that stuff on the wrestling stuff that says, I, don't try this at home. I like, was 16, you yeah. know. Jeff doing? Hardy was kind of cool when you're 16. You're doing a hotel room at 16 anyway. I went to St. Louis for Raw. My mom surprised me for my birthday. Okay. Told me I was going to Worlds of Fun. Didn't realize so we were halfway through Missouri that uh, we were going across the state. All right. It was great. I screamed at Vince McMahon. He made eye contact with me and uh, looked at me like I was a weirdo. I was leaning over the railing as he came down and I screamed, I'm going to work for you. I'm going to work for you. I'm going to work for you when I get older. And he stopped and just stared at me and uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> probably seemed real cool. He's still waiting. Yeah. <laughs> you think that all this stuff that you've been getting into lately is like <laughs> random chance, but it's actually him secretly pulling the strings. Oh, yeah. He's like, so, well. Somewhere, I wish I could find this video because it would be tremendously embarrassing for me to put on YouTube. Um, I recorded a video of myself around that time at 16 mm -hmm. talking to the camera. It, it, it's like a time capsule video intended for Vince McMahon. Okay. Uh, so it's like I could, when I apply, when I become a grown up, I can show this video to Vince McMahon to show him that even when I was a teenager, I knew, it's like, oh, yeah, I know all the terms. I know all the, you know, oh, let boy. me show you how much I know that's, about the business. That's, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yikes. <laughs> Taking it totally seriously. Yikes. Being like, hey, Vince, just, I, I, I intend to show this to you maybe when I'm in my 20s or 30s, but like, just to show you at 16, I know about K Fab, I know about working it. Like, wow. Fucking Jesus. Yeah, I, I have looked for that video because uh, it would be great to post, but I cannot find that. Maybe, thankfully. There's also some more. Right. Yeah, I'm sure on some level it's like, yeah, you know, yeah, you could you could post that. Yeah. Or you could destroy it. Yeah. There's old videos of me jumping off the deck and doing some backyard wrestling stuff, too. I've, now, I've, did you I've do those directly of because of them putting out videos of, like, you know, Mick Foley and people jumping off rooftops and stuff? I mean, probably. Like, this is probably around the time that Foley's book came out. Yeah. And, you know, it's like, well, I mean, that's how he got started. I mean, they tell you not to do it, but clearly they but, also I mean, want to show you this footage of him doing it. Yeah, yeah. And he got to be a wrestler, so... Yeah. <laughs> like, the worst fucking message to send. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
So yeah, it was probably totally because of that stuff. <laughs> This, this guy's just like gonna keep picking up this fucking log. <laughs> like I got this stump here. I'm just gonna keep throwing at you over and over again. That's from. And then he killed me. And then I and then I died. Learned that from Scott Steiner's workout DVD. Yep. <laughs> maybe it's right. Maybe it ain't. That's how I do it. <laughs> and look at and uh, you know the results. They <coughs> peaks and freaks. Yeah. Big bad booty daddy. <laughs> Are you just on a farm? Yeah. When did he transition from like underground base to this hay field? I don't know. <laughs> After I beat that second boss, I guess, it was just like, well, the, the, clearly we picked up some intel here that says that these guys are out on the farm. Yeah, okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> How long has that guy been fucking, again, a very Dean Ambrose thing to do. Yeah, yeah. Just to burst out of a hay bale. bale. Burst out of a hay bale and start a fight. <laughs> What's that thing called? Combine? Is that it? A thresher? Okay. I don't know. My entire is family that, is... Is that a baler? Oh, oh, God! Oh, it might be. It might be a baler. Eh, I don't know. My entire family is basically farmers, and I don't know anything about farms. That's why you don't. That's, that's probably why, yeah. This dude's name Williams? Is he a Williams? The bad guy? Yeah. Is he... I didn't. I don't recognize him at all. He's like, like a fucking well-known baddie. You, you with a widow's peak. Huh. He's got the weird glowy red eyes too, like mm. one pixel on each eye. Maybe they're all on weird drugs. All okay. right, that's probably enough double dragon too. All right, we'll get our revenge on their <coughs> revenge some other day. I um, definitely have not seen that opening before. Holy shit! Yeah, it's, it's, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. Twinbee also pretty fucked up. I've. Played, was this NES? Yeah, yeah, this came out on the NES. I as probably well. rented this once. Yeah, shooter. Yeah, yeah. you know, vertical shooter. Uh, you know, you're a you're the twin B. Right. All right, and here we got more options. So we've got different ROMs. I'm guessing is what this is, and then obviously the high score mode and caravan mode that all these other ones have now. Yeah. Uh, let's just play in high score mode. This is all pretty much the same for all of these now that they have this high score mode where they give you the online leaderboard on the side. And basically this is like Xevious controls where I, I've got my air to air shot and my air to ground shot. So are you, is that like an alien creature? Like are you throwing those things? Like you have little arms that are moving Yeah, I have little sometimes. arms that are moving, that are throwing these things out. I don't know the actual nature of the twin bee. Yeah, whether it's a ship or an organic something or other. Mm-hmm. Huh. Oh, is that a fun little thing where you have to keep the bu the bell bouncing? Yeah. Uh, well, okay. and if well, if you, as you shoot the bell, it'll change colors. So All you right. need to shoot it just enough times to get it to change color, so it's the thing you want. Okay. Then you get it. <coughs> this art style is reminding me of Kickle Cubicle. Did you ever play that? Yeah, a little bit. I love that game. No one ever talks about it. Yeah. It's a great name. Yes. Can't really shoot that rapidly. No. This is kind of it. This is one of the things where you have to wait for the like yeah. the shots to get off the screen. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Oh, that shrinks as it takes hits, huh? Okay. Oh, okay. This looks pretty cool. Yeah. Was there just the one uh, Twin B? You know, I want to say there's the Twin B has been in like the Parodius series and some of the other shooters that Konami has done. Okay. Uh, but I, I don't know for certain. I like the name. Yeah. This reminds me of Cabal music. Mm. Space Harrier boss here. I'm gonna shoot all these. It seems like the right level of shit happening on screen because, like, I don't like pure bullet hell, mm -hmm. but I like it to be challenging. Like, this looks like you need to pay attention to what's going on, but 
it's not just insane pattern memorization. Hey, that was, that was a really useful thing to collect there. Am I invincible while this music is different? It seems <laughs> to be. That's my guess. Are these things on the ground hurting you, or...? No. No. <coughs> hey! Uh, spread chat. Alright. Getting done now. The Hayfield from Double Dragon 2 mm -hmm. down there. Yeah. Dean Ambrose just waiting in one of those... He's yeah. waiting in this one, but I'm gonna fucking blow it up first. <laughs> Drops his apple. <laughs> Fuck you, Dean Ambrose. <laughs> Trademark Apple. Yeah, once Carlito was gone from the company, yep. he picked it right up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like loser leaves town, winner gets yeah, the Apple match. Yeah, when you keep this Apple thing going, it's too good. It's a real dumb thing. What's your character? I got an Afro and I spit apples at people. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's more than half the roster has, so... That's true. Go with God on that. <laughs> Spits in the face of people who don't want to be cool. It's a really dumb way to start your theme song. I kind of hate everything about Carlito. <laughs> and yet, I wish he was there still. Yeah. <laughs> I annoyed him on Bourbon Street once. Good call. <laughs> I was very drunk. That's a baseball. Yeah. I made a baseball up here, I think. <laughs> I don't know if I'm fighting the baseball or if the baseball is <laughs> on my side, but... Man, we are just racking up. I don't mind telling you, this is the best I've ever done at Twinbee. Wow, all right. Getting the trophies. A lot of bell juggling going on here. Are those toilet bowls flying at you? Like those, they you know, like half full toilet bowls. You know, they might be. I was like reading the instruction manuals for games like this to where it's just looking at it, it just looks like a bunch of weird fucking things flying at you. Yeah. But like a lot of times the instruction manuals would be like, oh, this is the thing, and he likes cooking, and it's like, wait, yeah, what? Like, with, what? With like a drawing of Why? it that's like way Why? more detailed. Why did you write all this stuff? I mean, because you had time is the yeah. answer. Yeah. Like, like, why wouldn't you? Mine's busy. The game was talking at me for a sec there. We're fucking cleaning up. Yeah. So you can take hits in this game and not die. Uh, and, uh, but uh, you'll like you'll lose one of your arms, basically. Oh, cool. Okay. On the first hit, and. I've always liked, like, visual indicators of losing health, you know? Yeah. Whether it's a Doom guy face or whatever. Yeah, see, so now I only have one arm, and I, can, okay. I can't shoot as frequently uh, my, my ground shots. Okay. One of my favorite examples of that is uh, Ghosts and Goblins. Yep. It was really cool. And then when Ghouls and Ghosts came out, and you get the gold armor, and you had all the yeah. magic. Uh, was a cool game. Do you like uh, Maximo? I wanted to like it a lot. Yeah. I loved the idea of like, yeah. okay, let's have a 3D Ghosts and Goblins here, and eh. Just fine. It's really fucking hard. Yeah. They had two, right? The maximum yeah, of the did. army of Yeah, the Zin? army of Zin. Yeah, yeah. Was it Ghost to Glory was the first one? Is that what it was? That sounds about right, yeah. Or wasn't like explicitly oh, a follow-up to Ghosts and Goblins, but like super yeah, obviously. It was, yeah, like, it was like spiritually. Because it, it was, that was when they had... Development in the U.S. Right, right, uh, and that's where Maximo came from at Capcom. Was yeah, and he had U.S. team. Oh, he had the boxers, and it was called Ghost to Glory, or whatever. like it's pretty clear what yeah, they're doing there, totally, you know. Totally. They sent out boxers for that game. Nice. That's the right move. All right, that's Twinby. Cool. You know, let's die so I can upload my high score. Get that apple. <coughs> Volcanoes ever erupt? Mm, I don't know. Oh, 
Hooray! Take that, Hiro and Fuku and Kita and Christmas and Taka. Christmas. The discrepancy between the high score lists. Uh, so, but yeah, that's just the, that's the machine's high score list. Right. Okay. And then this is that's the online high score list over there on the side. Oh, that's across any player. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, we have uploaded our high score and unlocked two nice. trophies on this account that I don't care about. <laughs> Still feels good to see it. It does. It really does. Got to sync those twin B trophies. When you cared about achievements, uh, did you hate it when you'd be like reviewing a game on debug and you'd see how many <laughs> achievements you're getting? Like every time it pops, like I remember every time I'd see it, like, God damn it. Like I, I'd have that instinctual, just like, oh, achievement. Oh, wait, yeah, fuck. Yeah, it doesn't it matter. Does, it doesn't matter. Yeah. 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 <coughs> But then that's also one of the things to where, like, the second I think about whining about that or getting mad about that. Like, this is yeah, I don't get my achievement points in this game I played at work. Like, yeah, like, oh, I just want to awesome. kick my own ass. Yeah, you're just like, you idiot. <laughs> uh, so we have uh, multiple ROMs here to choose from. Uh, we've got... Uh, Wait, was this... This is Life Force in the U.S. Did this come to NES as Barai Fighter by any chance? No, this came to the NES as... Life Force. Life Force. Okay, maybe I did play uh, this. But uh, in Japan, it was Salamander. And and so the different versions of this, if I remember right, had different takes on the Gradius power-up system. Okay. So we'll go with default Salamander here and see which one that is. Destroy them all. Destroy them all. I remember this. Okay, yeah, yeah. Pick it up for a wow, I really like this voice. Yeah. You ever played Barai Fighter? Multiple. Probably, but not, I don't really remember it. Okay. It's like the epitome of one of those games that you just your mom gets you when you're a kid because it's like, ah, no, it's got a dragon and a spaceship on the front, uh -huh. whatever, and then it actually wound up being kind of good. Mm. Are those growths happening as you shoot the ground? Or is that just no, scripted? No, that's just that's scripted. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you know, you see, this game doesn't have like the you know collect power up items and then select which power up you want of Gradius. Right. Uh, but the other versions of the ROM, like the Life Force versions, do. Okay. Um, These little blobs seem very helpful. Yeah. Yeah, your options are your options are great. Oh God, hellish spikes! That's a lot happening here. Oh, I shouldn't have collected all those speed ups. This is too much. <laughs> slow down. So speed up, slow down. Oh, no. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I don't like the look of these like growths. Yeah, it's, it a very, like... it's, a, it's a very disgusting game. Yeah. Oh, no! What was that movie where they had to go in the little ship inside a person to make them not sick? Inter Inter space? Interspace. Yeah, yeah. You ever go to Disney World and they got that ride where they make it seem like you get on a ship and it's basically an inner space thing and you're going through a body? Yeah. I remember my uh, step grandpa told me back then that it was actually happening. So for a couple years when I was a little kid, uh, I was pretty sure, pretty sure that, that I had been shrunk down and flew around in a ship uh -huh. inside of a human body. Yeah, that totally happened. And no one believed me when I told that story. Weird. It, it turned out I actually didn't. It was just a screen thing. Oh. Yeah. I don't have that technology They yet. should probably have a disclaimer or something that says, yeah. you know, hey, you're about to not get shrunk down. And yeah, just in case. All right, this brain has sprouted arms uh, and is now trying to kill us. Yeah. Okay, now an eye is growing out of the front of the brain. Oh, now we're vertical. Yeah. Man. Now we're in space instead of inside <laughs> of Red Falcon or whatever. triumphant music. Yeah. Pick it up for late. Oh, I missed it. This almost feels like too wide, like yeah. the amount of space you have to cover. <sighs> I could use some sort of power-ups. I mean, I don't need... Oh, uh-oh. Did you lose those orbs that yeah. you had earlier? Okay. Yeah. So with hits you lose that, or uh, when you if when you die you lose all your power ups. Oh, okay, gotcha. So that looks like the Game Genie NES text. Yeah. Big blocky things.
I will say Life Force is a cooler name than Salamander. Yeah. Let's, uh... Wait. Wait, no, that's the wrong... Uh, that one, I think. Yeah. Let's do, uh, Life Force. <coughs> Stereo sound. Oh. Destroy them all. Okay, so this isn't this isn't the one with the different power up system. Maybe the other, maybe that's the other. I can keep putting in coins though. All right, let's uh try that one. Or the first time you could find a arcade cabinet with free play turned on, yeah. or like an emulated thing when you just had a button for infinite coins. Like that novelty is so cr it still feels really good to do yeah. that. Yeah. Look at all the money I'm wasting. Feels like you're just robbing them. I'm not gonna play this much Life Force. <laughs> Destroy them all. Although uh, I just went to a place that had a uh, classic NBA Jam tournament edition uh -huh. cabinet, and uh, it brought me right back to how many fucking quarters you have to put in if you want to play a whole game against yeah. someone. Yeah, that's even even with free play turned on, you still have to hit start four times. Yeah, yeah. Two people, four four quarters of a game. Uh huh. Yeah, it's a lot of tokens. Turns out the game's still super fun. Yep. Destroy violent antibiotics. Okay, <laughs> sure. Yeah, so you know, you see, that this version of the ROM has the the kind of Gradius style power <coughs> system, and you know, okay, Vic Viper doing Vic Viper things. Um, and yeah, that's that. All right. I want to say that they have announced some games for Arcade Archives that have not been released yet, but I, I don't remember off the top of my head. Do they always release them in batches, or are these one at a time? No, it'll be, it'll be like one at a time, like one per week. Yeah, we're, we're, I'm just kind of waiting for them to be like, for there to be like four or five of them out before we record gotcha. another set. Okay. Uh, uh, but yeah. So that's it. You're up to date uh, cool. with the state of old arcade games for about eight bucks each on the PlayStation 4. Some of these games, yeah, more and more of these games seem like they are coming to the U.S. Uh, if you're into that, but the again, the, the the price per game seems a little much. I don't know. I would pay eight dollars for Bubble Bobble. Yeah. Yeah. I okay. just I want to have easy access to Bubble Bobble whenever I want it. That that seems like a reasonable desire. So I, I think I, I I don't know for certain if uh, Bubble Bobble is. Oh no! Fire! Fire! Ah! Fire! Fire! That's pretty cool. I like fire. that. I am I am firing. Stop. <laughs> we made it back to the brain. Destroy Eye of Mutant. Destroy Eye of Mutant. That's good advice. Yeah. Anywhere really. Keep putting in money. Why not? Anyway, that's that's it. That's uh. That's that. Cool. Uh, that's Salamander. And yeah, like I said, we're, we're up to date now. Back here at the Terra Cresta. <laughs> uh, soothing. Very relaxing. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Dan. Thank you.